Hello, it's Chris here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. We've been talking a lot about the cold. I bet you know it's going to get cold. But now we are adding snow into the forecast. Here are four things that you need to know about the weather. It is getting colder. Uh, today we topped out at 24 degrees in Spokane. Tomorrow will be in the mid-20s too, but we're really going to get another surge of Arctic air as we get into Thursday and Friday. Sending our lows into the single digits. Wind chill readings in the double digits below zero. And we do have the possibility of some snow late in the day Thursday. Thursday into Friday and then more snow coming in the seven-day forecast so we got some winter happening here's what's going on um, our 48-hour forecast I have the surface features on here the upper level winds as usual but I also have the temperatures uh, in the color codes there the purple being the coldest air and uh, that Arctic air is going to continue to seep into the region through the mountain passes. It's going to be a cold again tomorrow. Then the coldest air comes in Thursday. But look what's coming up from the south. I thought this moisture was going to be staying further to the south. There has been a little model consensus uh, with this uh, snow and the potential snowfall totals. Uh, but I looking at this boundary uh, that seems to pick the Washington Oregon border as uh, where it wants to set up and we are in Spokane going to get brushed with some snow with some heavier snowfall totals down to the south uh, through Friday uh, down on the Palouse and the LC Valley and the Blue Mountains. Here's a closer view on our 24-hour forecast. I'm going to start this off Thursday at 8 in the morning. Let's go 24 hours. Here comes the snow. Oh, and the winds too. Take a look at those arrows. Those are the gusty winds uh, picking up on Thursday coming from the Northeast. And boy, those will those will put hair on your chest. Uh, <laughs> that, it's, those are tough winds. And then they start to snow starts to taper off as we get into Friday morning. It's going to sink off to the south, but not come to an end completely. Um, here's our look at overnight lows tonight. These are manageable. Teens, single digits, few 20s on the map. High temperatures tomorrow in the 20s and even the 30s. And then we start to see that next surge of cold air uh, coming in through the Cascade, or excuse me, through the Purcell Trench. Uh, we're looking at 17 Thursday, 18 on Friday. Overnight lows in the single digits. It is going to be breezy Thursday and Friday with a chance of snow. Dry on Saturday. We have a slight chance of snow on Sunday. And it looks like on Monday we have a pretty good chance of snow right now. Stay tuned for more on that uh, because that certainly bears watching. I am not going to throw out any uh, accumulation speculation at this point uh, but I'm be watching Monday very closely I'll stay tuned for more on uh, what that means meanwhile with this dark dress and this dark background it kind of just looks like I have a, I'm a head floating around doesn't it uh, an additional aside that has nothing to do with whether I my Christmas tree is still up. This is my Valentine's tree now. It has white lights and red balls on it. And um, I'm going to replace it with a ficus after Valentine's Day. I figure I'm getting a lot of grief about the um, Christmas tree, but it is cheering me up back here in the dark weather center on this cold week. Uh, anywho, Thank you for watching. Stay warm. Keep your kiddos warm. They have not had a lot of cold. And uh, boy, they've been all snuggled in for most of the winter doing school at home on their computer, probably in their jammies. If it's like my house, now that a lot of them are heading back to school, they're going to be in the coldest weather they have experienced in quite some time. So take care of them. Take care of your pets. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.